Hey guys, Denver with you here. As a colorist and filmmaker, I'm obsessed with giving my projects that final pizzazz that makes them stand out. Adobe Premiere has a ton of built-in effects and presets, but what if you wanna do more? What if you wanna set yourself apart from what everyone else is doing? Well, these are sure to do the trick. I wanna to reveal to you my top five must-have Adobe Premiere effects to set films apart and gets that big budget look. These effects will help you improve transitions, titles, smooth over unwanted noise, and take your color grading to a whole new level. All right, number five, glitch effects from Cinecom. What better way to begin our top five than with a free one? Our friends over at Cinecom offer this glitch pack as a free download. And although they call it glitch transitions, they can be used at any point in your edit, not just for cuts. The pack includes RGB splits, noise glitch, movement distortions, flickering, and more. These are simple drag and drop presets. And if you ask me, I'm a sucker for the RGB split effect. Just add it over the top of transitions or during a speed ramp and it will make it look tip fricking top. All right, number four, 500 plus ultimate Adobe Premiere Pro transitions from BJK Productions. Now, if you're anything like me, you've been targeted uh, with these ads on Facebook. And with this pack, you're getting over 500 drag and drop transitions, many of them based on transitions popularized by creators like Sam Calder. The pan whip and zoom transitions are my favorite. With them, you can add movement to your edit and even hide cuts, giving the illusion of a continuous shot or movement. This also works as a creative way to make a change to location. If you want a rhythmic, music-driven edit, but your shots lack movement, this is a great way to solve that issue. Each type of transition has several different versions, so if you want a zoom transition, you can use a zoom in or out, you can go for a zoom plus spin transition, and so on. The possibilities are endless. Now, if say you were to build one of these transitions out from scratch, this could take several hours. So time is money and these will save you a lot of that. All right, number three, M-Title Simple Pack 3 from Motion VFX. This is a pack of 30 modern minimalist animated titles that you can customize to your liking. I really love the modern look and what's really cool about these is that you can quickly browse through these in the Essential Graphics panel. Then once you've decided on one, just drag and drop it onto the timeline, switch to the edit tab, then you can change the text, size, position, colors, and more. What I love about this pack is if you wanna customize a title or animation further, you get the After Effects projects for the titles too. So whether you need a quick titling solution or you want that modern look, this pack looks amazing. All right, number two, neat video. Noisy footage is one of the most aggravating problems for filmmakers. If the set is too dark, you end up bumping the ISO, giving the sensor more juice, and what that results in that you don't actually see on set, but that you then see later is that stupid noise. Nothing screams amateur video more than signal noise. Okay, well, maybe blown out highlights. But not to worry, there is a solution for this and there are a few other third-party noise reducers, but the one that I know that is the best, the one that one time I felt like VFX artists held as a carefully guarded trade secret is Neat Video. It's so amazing because what it essentially does after gathering a uniform sample is actually reconstruct the sensor data, producing a clean and polished look so that you have shadows that are as smooth as butter. It costs a bit more, but it's totally worth it. And finally, at number one is cinema grade. The final and funnest part of finishing a film is color grading. It's the final polish that puts the film over the top and makes it look big budget. However, learning the color wheels and curves in Lumetri can be a steep learning curve, plus not to mention how best to use them in a workflow. With cinema grade, you get to bypass the traditional color tools based on 20 year old ideas. With cinema grade, you can actually grade directly on the image right inside the viewer. You can literally click on objects and change their color, saturation, or luminance by simply placing a point and then dragging. The color changes are saved and can be modified in a Lightroom style side panel. 
If you also find that video scopes are intimidating, a false color feature makes getting the right exposure so easy and painless you'd consider it magic. Things that are too hot or overexposed show as red, so you can just simply click on them and drag down to bring it down to the proper exposure. Things that are too dark or crushed show as purple, so you can just simply click on them and drag up to restore the shadow detail. And skin tones should lie in the gray, pink, and green areas. Other things worth mentioning is chart support for the X-Rite color checker charts for performing automatic corrections, side-by-side -side viewing for matching shots, real-time previews of LUTs, 60 built-in colorist looks, and a look transfer tool for transferring the color palette from your favorite film to your own projects. And those are my top five Adobe Premiere effects for setting your images apart and taking your films to the next level. These will save you tons of time and they're so easy to use. If you like these effects, give the video a like and if I missed your favorite, let me know what it is in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more reviews like this and other grading videos. Until next time, enjoy your day. Now, I'd be being disingenuous if I didn't offer a full disclosure. We are the creators of Cinema Grade and it's what makes this review possible. As a professional colorist and one who struggled early on in my career with color grading, this is a game changer for those who need to do professional color grading but don't have the luxury of sitting down and studying color theory or how is the best way to use the color tools. We created Cinema Grade to make color grading easier and faster. And as a bonus for watching this video for a limited time, we're giving you a 20% off discount for Cinema Grade. You'll find a link for Cinema Grade in the description below or at the card above, and then just use YouTube 20 for 20% off at checkout. You can also even give it a test drive for seven days, so it's a win, win, win. All right, over and out. Enjoy using these effects and Cinema Grade.